I wonder what the pH or potential hydrogen of the water will be in this house. Will it be acidic or alkaline? What is the ideal pH level? Water softeners. Let's check them out. The easiest way to check for iron in your water is by lifting the toilet tank lid and check for a reddish brown color in your tank. The iron content in your water should not exceed 0.3 parts per million. If your well water smells like rotten eggs, how might you filter it out? Let's check. The best way is to use an activated carbon filter. It removes the nasty smell of H2S. Your water is considered aesthetically objectionable if it is in excess of 0 0.05 milligrams per liter. The amount of hardness in water is measured in grains per gallon. Your hot water tank temperature shouldn't exceed 140 degrees Fahrenheit in order to prevent temporary hardness. Total hardness in your water should not exceed 3.5 GPG. If it does, your hot water tank will be one of the first plumbing appliances to suffer and eventually leak. This is when a water softener will help out by removing the hardness out of your water to less than 1 GPG. The water softener should always be installed before or upstream of the hot water tank. This is how your hot water or water softener works. The mineral or resin, resin tank is located inside this brine tank as this is a cabinet softener. This is also a downflow mineral tank which means the water flows down through the mineral tank and upwards through the distribution basket and distribution tube. The hardness is removed from the water as it passes through the resin. An actual iron exchange takes place in the mineral tank. Basically, the sodium resin beads are exchanged for calcium and magnesium ions, resulting in soft water. As illustrated on this diagram, the resin beads are the orange ones with sodium ions attached to them. This gets rid of the calcium and magnesium out of the water. The backwash cycle occurs when water flows through the filter bed in reverse, thereby cleaning the bed. The freeboard space is used during the backwash when the zeolite resin bed expands upwards into the upper portion of this tank. When resin becomes ineffective, the brine or salt and water is passed back through the resin tank in order to regenerate the resin with new sodium. The brine is fed up this tube. This regeneration process continues through this upflow system in the brine tank. The brine passes through the refill tube and back into the resin tank during the regeneration process. The cycle should happen every three days. Now let's check how to size a water softener. One ppm of iron is equivalent to four GPG of hardness. One ppm of manganese is equivalent to eight GPGs of hardness. Here's a water softener sizing example. What is the three day total hardness for a five person residence if the water analysis indicates 25 grains hard and 0.5 iron content? To answer this question, use 60 gallons per person. Five people times 60 gallons is e equals 300 GPDs or gallons per day, plus the compensating hardness equals 25 GPG, plus the 0.5 ppms of iron times 4 GPG equals 27 GPG. So 300 GPG times 27 GPG equals 8,100 grains per day, times 3 days equals 24,300 grains. Just check out your Methods of Treatment Equipment Installation Module Part B under page 4 and under 6 pounds per cubic feet column and you'll see that 24,300 grains will give you this water softener model EFT40MI.
Thanks for checking out the water softener video.